The Lambert Housing Development was built in the 1970s, just south of the, of the world-famous Bronx Zoo. To put it bluntly, they were not designed well, same as many housing projects constructed in that time period. Thirteen buildings are now being rebuilt, with space for 1,300 dwelling units, commercial space, and a school included. All of this, and will be 100% affordable housing too. This will be an unmistakable positive impact on a community that needs it, the West Farms neighborhood of Bronx, New York City. But it still needs quality research and a reason to do it. Though this is a large project, not expected to be completed until 2029, it did not need to undergo significant environmental research, as it is in an urban environment and it is a redevelopment not as intensive as if they were starting from scratch, from bare land. Housing is a human endeavor, and that is where the bulk of the research lays, not typically the fare of an environmental impact statement. The science in this project was mainly concerned with how it will affect humans and the world they live in, and especially how it will affect certain vulnerable populations more than others. Justice, community centers, public policy, transportation, public health. These are human concerns, but ones that all intersect with the natural world. This is environmental science that deals with the human interaction with the world, and thus was localized to the world around the Lambert houses. All of these topics needed research, but they do not show the true extent and reasoning behind this project. It was instead how shadows fall that, sh that show this reasoning. As per New York City code, all new buildings over 50 feet tall must do research on the effects of shadows and how they impact light-sensitive areas, like playgrounds, parks, and church stained glass windows even. This science was mandated by the city government out of concern for the welfare of residents and how they would or would not be impacted by light that may or may not be reaching them. This is science that achieves an end that would not be done otherwise. Despite this lack of true drive and initiative, this was the longest section of research for this project, at 91 total pages. This goes to show how detailed housing in New York City is, one of the densest and most built-up cities in the Western world. With all of these non-traditional concerns stacking up, the fact that this EIS was made is a surprise, but a welcome one nonetheless. This was an environmental impact statement written not just to measure a limited, true environmental impact in the classic sense of, of the word, but as an excuse to look at and examine the project as a whole. This EIS was to analyze the Lambert Housing Redevelopment Project as part of an interconnected system, as part of a living, breathing city with millions of living, breathing people in it. This was science that happened not just because of code, but for the good of the people. It studied not just the impacts of the buildings themselves, but the shadows they will lay over the people for years and years to come.